Now let's come to question number six. The question number six says uh, the figure shows. So this is the figure which is showing us something. What is that? The state of stress at a certain point in a stressed body. The magnitudes of normal stresses in x and y direction are 100 MPa and 20 MPa. The radius of Mohr's circle representing this state of stress is one of these four options. Okay, so very first you need to find out the radius of Mohr circle. So write down that formula. So radius of Mohr circle is under root sigma x minus sigma y upon 2 whole square plus tau square. And this tau is in x y direction. Okay, now if you look at this, you given a sigma x as how much? 100 MPa because this is an x direction. Okay. And sigma y, this is a compressive stress. So it will be minus 20 MPa. There is no uh, shearing taking place on this element. So tau xy would be 0. So just now substitute these values over here. So r, if you write down r is equal to under root 100 minus minus plus becomes 120. 120 by 2 is 60. So it, it just becomes 60 square, which is nothing but 60 MPa. So the radius of the Mohan circle is 60 MPa, which is option number C. A very simple question. Just look at the figure given to you. Look at the data given to you. Sigma x would be positive because it is in the tensile di direction. And sigma y would be negative because it is representing a compressive stress. So sigma y will become minus 20. There is no tau, so tau will become 0. And the remembrance of the expression of the radius of the Mohr circle is a requirement in this. So again, a pretty uh, straightforward formula based question which appeared in uh, sometime in gate uh, exam. So I hope you understood this question number 6. Now let's move on to question number 7 in the next video.